and welcome to your gold market update for today monday the 9th of january we hope you're well and had a great weekend mike smith senior analyst at gold markets here to take you around what's happening now and also put up a couple of charts that have caught our eye this morning let's first of all have a look at what's coming across the news today of course we had a strong session in the us on friday to close the week higher and sit at the top of the recent trading range we've seen in all the major indices after that non-farm payroll jobs data came in around about goldilocks and markets actually responded really positively to that and regained any losses that were sustained in the middle of the week after the adp jobs report came out u.s earnings season kicks off this week and is going to be a big player along with the inflation data later in the week U.S. futures this morning are slightly positive in trading and Asian indices are generally following that U.S. lead. ASX is up. ASX is up around 1% to the upside and European equity markets are pointing to a higher open if we look at the futures for this afternoon. The VIX is also lower on the back of that equity strength. U.S. dollar index, however, reversed Thursday's gains to fall and retest seven-month lows. Gold as a consequence bounced higher to retest a very important long-term key level at around about 1875 we saw copper surge again that's looking again to break long-term key levels and may ultimately push its way up to four dollars and oil on the other hand dropped a little bit retesting 2022 lows be interesting to see whether that breaks this week bitcoin also had a good session on friday and moved towards the top of the range it's been trading in of late it is testing 17,000 this morning in asia it is a relatively quiet day today so much of the drive will be technical for right now we've got german industrial production and eurozone jobs likely to impact the fx markets this afternoon which are pretty flat at this stage and as we said, as well as the start of earnings season, we've got US inflation numbers out on Thursday. That's the weekly highlight on the data front. We referenced Sunfire Resources last week and we're going to revisit them again. You can see there they have breached $6, although a slight pullback in trading today, which is somewhat surprising. And we are looking to breach this level. If we do get then possibly an 8 to 10% up move in the coming weeks, technically could be on the cards the euro usd is an interesting looking currency chart you can see there we had one test of this key level at 107 although the resistance is at 10681 you know how we like our nice round number so 107 is the target so we have this big push up on friday follow through today so we're actually going to move this up to 107 now there could be a short-term opportunity if we get a push higher from where we are right now on the 30 minute chart there's about 30 pips up towards that 107 level which is of interest and but subsequently if it breaks out then there could be significant buying pressure coming to this pair trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now